Yo, yo, yo. This is Virgo Vaughn from the Virgo Show. It could have been any place in the world. I'm glad you decided to pull up on me. And I appreciate you. I came on here to talk about something that's been on my mind. I'm sipping my tea, and it's been on my mind, and I've been thinking. It's late night, late at night. This is the time that I pick to do my podcast late at night. I pick this time not because I love it, because it's the best time to do a podcast, because people are living, and they make noise, and they do what they got to do. And I'm not one to complain to be calling up the leasing office and complain about people living in their house. So I don't complain. And I'm not fortunate enough to have a setup where I got like soundproof, the padding and stuff like that. Because every time I look around and think about adjusting my living quarters, all I think about is packing my living quarters. I've definitely outgrown my house. Definitely outgrown the house. (laughs) Yeah, so. I've been thinking about my neighbors and just what I've been going through since I've been living here. And I'm going to put my little warning out there. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. (laughs) Once upon a time earlier in the beginning, I did a podcast about the leasing office. When I first moved here, it was real cute. It was a cute looking place. The feng shui is beautiful. Like when you when you look at an apartment online and you say, oh, that's nice. And you read up on it. You like what you see. It really is something nice to see. But, you know, how they got it displayed and stuff. I looked at it. It was like, okay, it's cute or whatever. I wasn't fond of its location. It's... It's too damn central in my opinion, but whatever. And living here was okay. It was kind of quiet. And all of a sudden, the management changed. You didn't get an email or nothing. You just went down there and Miss Mary, who was there, isn't there anymore. And there's a Chinese lady in there. I, I wouldn't just call it. I'd see some form of Asian descent. I didn't. Who knows? Anyway, there's a new young lady in there. Okay, she said we're under new management. Okay, new young lady, same maintenance guy. Whatever, if you don't have a problem, there is no problem, whatever. So, somewhere along the line, there it goes. I was waiting for it. Somewhere along the line, they were under new management. Right before the lease came in. And I went through a whole bunch of back and forth. They didn't give me a new lease, but they penalized me for the lease. And there was a whole bunch of back and forth. I did something about that. Back and forth. Who works there? Who doesn't work there? Every time you go there, there's a new person work there. They don't have the information. They got to get back to you. When you get back to them, about them getting back to you, nobody understands anything. Nobody can explain the charges. They could tell you. It goes again. They can tell you what the charges are, but they can't tell you why you have these charges on. No one knows. It was a whole hoopla I went through. And that was the first set of management. But now there's 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 more management because they don't change it over again. I know you're like, what? Did you, how many times are they gonna change it? So we was the first set, it was the Miss Mary, it was the Asian lady, it was it's a new lady. And then there was a new lady. That lady, she was a piece of cake, and she brought the other lady. That was the secretary and, and her answer, to. That's who I did the um, podcast, the leasing office, about the secretary and her answer, to. Now, since then, there's been another 
lady. I had to keep them all together. Another lady, that's the current lady, the one we're dealing with now. She's done the most out of all of the other ones. She's made the most change out of all the other ones. We're going to give her a little bit of credit. We're not going to just negate the fact that she actually did a little something. And she changed, she changed the outlook on the place. She changed the name of the place. She changed the name of the place. She changed the reviews on the place. She changed the fact she, she killed all of the rumors that it used to be. She, she brought the value up. She came with the due owners. They raised the price. She, she, they made sure they put mulch down, not the red mulch, the black one with little rocks and, and, and palm trees. She made it look real cute. She speaks Spanish and she speaks to the, to the, she got, obviously she's got good uh, maintenance workers. If she speaks Spanish. But since, since she done came in here, I, I know in the leasing business, I'm assuming the aim is to have um, renters to have the apartments and, you know, being rented. Since she's been in here, it's been all kinds of stuff I've been dealing with. Since she's been in here, it's been all kinds of families with children. And don't get me wrong. The children are the future. They are. They are. They are. <laughs> I'm afraid of the future that's going to come from the children that was running around in my courtyard. There, there's been so many of them. You be in the living room. My living room is directly facing the courtyard. Now we have a whole play area, but okay. I, I've seen it. I, I wouldn't play back there either. It's right by the dumpster. It's unattractive. It looked like something when you, it looked like when you ride past something, you would hear like the Freddy music. Dun, dun, you could no. I understand why they're not back there. If you want the kids back there, you should make it look like you want the kids back there. Because then they might actually go back there. But instead, they're in the middle. There's a pool in the middle. At some point in time, the kids are all in the pool. Not all the time, sometimes. And they're splashing and hee hee ha ha. And that's cute. I respect that. I like that. That's cute. Sometimes, you know, they're playing, and that's cute, too. When they're screaming out, out the top of their lungs, that, that's, that's, that's not cute. That, that's not. It's, it's not. They sound like a bunch of noise. And they strategically hang out by the opposite of their house. I figured it out. Their mama must say, y'all go over there. Because they live on the other side. So my house is over there. And they like to park in front of my house. I want to get a sign that says the mean, the mean lady. Because if I look mean, and maybe if they thought that I was mean, they wouldn't come by my door. But they, they do. There's some steps that they like to hang out at. But there's steps by their house, and I can't figure out. That was just then, but I used to count them because it's various of them. You'll look out and you'll see six of them. You go, okay, it's six kids here. And then a week later, you look out and you look up and you go, oh, it's 10 of them. Three days later, you hear like a, a, a riot outside. You look out there and there's 15 and you go, hmm. You say, it must be just because it's the weekend. That's why. And then on Wednesday, it's like 17. You're like, wait a minute. How many kids live here? I felt like people was dropping their nieces and nephews off. I'm not 100% sure. And that's okay, too, you know. In the summertime, <laughs> then we had a new set of neighbors. This is where the, the tragedy in my life, because I was just about to say it, but it brought me back to the new set of neighbors next door to me. Now, the house to the right of me, I didn't see about three, four people live there. This is how I know it's time to move. 
And you don't can count how many people that lived in so many places. You got to describe because each apartment I've watched, each apartment have four or five different people. The house to the right of me, it had this nice lady. She was real friendly, too friendly in my opinion, but she was real friendly. And she one day told me she was going on a date and she felt great. And I was like, that's awesome. And one day I saw her with a guy and I just didn't see her anymore. I don't know. Maybe they fell in love. Maybe they went missing. I don't know because I didn't really know her. But she was happy last time I seen her and that was awesome. I didn't see her on the news. So great. And then next thing I knew, it was a whole family moving next door. Negroes. <laughs> um, the nice little quiet Spanish lady to me sitting in here trying to do a podcast. And they just having like a whole party next door. And I looked at the time like, like I said, I, I choose to make my podcast in the middle of the night because... Because people need to make their noise in their house, and I don't blame them because that's what they pay for. But it's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? And I just look over like, okay. So I just, you know, put the condenser and my function on so I could kind of try to bleed that out or maybe put some music in the back to just alternate. You know, I got I, I jump over hurdles. Try not to fall on them. Anyway, it was like four, five, six in the morning. These people just still rocking. I don't know if they fell asleep listening to the music or they was up playing spades all night. And the guy who lived there, his name was Mr. Curtis. He was he was too friendly. Too friendly. They had picked up the 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 leasing lady. She had because she made all this change. They had the place painted like two times over. The roof got done twice. And then she was like, yeah, we're working on the roof. That was a whole episode about the roof I did. They was working. She's like, yeah, we're working on the roof. And I'm looking at her like, you know, y'all, the roof got fixed last year. But whatever. Just stay place now. Fix the roof if you must. They ain't fixed the roof on the laundromat. Y'all, y'all did the roof two times and the laundromat never got its roof done. But whatever. This is y'all place. I don't know what y'all doing. Anywho, so she changed out the, the furniture and inside the pool area, made it real cute because she changed the picture, changed the name. So if you Google the last place, it, it, that place sucked. They had like terrible reviews, like terrible reviews. Like I should have read these reviews for a game maker. And they had like terrible reviews. One day, when 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 it's all said and done, I will tell the absolute story about what all happened in this joint. Anyway, um, <laughs> she didn't change the name, change the face, the color, everything. So they didn't got new furniture. So all the old furniture, I don't know if she told them or he assumed, but he just helped himself to some of the pool furniture and just set up like camp outside my outside his window. That is beside my window. I had to say it correctly. So he camped out outside of his window beside my window. But this is not that kind of place. It's 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 this ain't two two seven. What are you doing? Two chairs. And this is a house. It was a two bedroom and it was like four adults in there. Two him a woman and his wife and his two sons. These are your, the, I, I didn't see these men, but I know it was four grown adults next door. All they did was make noise and listen to music. I mean, it was good music too, because I rocked to it a couple of times. It was rocking, I'm looking like, damn, where did they get that from? It was rocking a few times, but... Not three, four in the morning, you know, you got to catch me like six, seven. I'm with the shits at that time. But uh, Mr. Curtis, he kept letting my uh, my lady friend know that he was single. Like he says, um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm not with my wife. Like we together, but we not together. You hear it again? Mm-hmm. Proof I need to move. He said we together, but we not together. That's what he told my lady friend. And she told me the story. I'm like, what? Did he try to push up? No, he was just being friendly. What kind of friendly is that? Let me tell you something. What you mean? You was just letting... Uh, what, what you let? What you informing my people that you single for? That you, you know, like, hey. But you know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot, whatever. And when I see him, he, he didn't look like he wasn't with his wife. Because every time I seen him, he was with his wife. I'll be laughing in my head, wondering if I should let her know that I know you ain't really with your husband. Y'all just together because that's like what he telling my side. So we, you know what I'm saying? He was loud. He used to they whoever wanted to would talk on the phone outside the on the chairs, chilling. You know they on their porch and stuff outside. You know it's just adjacent to my window. I would just move from the front and gravitate to the back. And move along with my life. That's how I moved along with my life. Didn't let it bother me or affect me. Moved along with my life. That's why I don't facilitate in the front. All my blah, blah, blah is on the other side of the house. I ain't got time for that. And that was that with him. And one day, I just looked up. And the house was empty. The chairs was gone. The house was empty. It wasn't even an end of the month, a beginning of the month. I don't even know what day it was because... I came in and the chairs was out there. And when I came back out, the chairs was gone. I don't know what happened. The man said they used to have a house, but whatever happened at the house and they ended up in the apartment because that's the quickest thing they could find. I guess they figured out a house was better for them. I guess. And either way, he moved away and that excited me. Now we got new neighbors over here, a new set of uh, people. Then we ain't gonna get into the new set of people yet because that's gonna bring the whole story to a. I had to give you a little history. And it took me, I said, 17, 18 minutes to get to the history of the bull I've been dealing with here. Because every time the time to renew your lease, or every time we get a new owner, because we always get a new owner somewhere in between renewing the leases. And somewhere along the line, the lease doesn't get renewed. And they, when I'm asking them, so why is this month-to-month -month fee on my on my account now? And they go, because you didn't renew the lease. And I be like, nobody offered me a lease. And they go, why didn't you renew the lease? What, was I, this is what I go through every other year, every year. I'm anticipating this to happen again because I just expect this at this point. You would think this makes sense that we could just solve this. And I'm I'm not one who enjoys walking into things that I know is going to go wrong. If you know that it's going to rain, you carry an umbrella. That's that's just who I am. If I happen to know that, you know, people carry things in their bag for a reason to try to be prepared. I hate to make the same mistake twice. And I just keep this foolishness up with these people. But this is them here living in Florida. Things they say in, in the South, things run slow. They move at the pace that people move at. So you got to move at the pace they move at because it doesn't matter what kind of success you would like. All that matters is the pace that they're going to move at. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. And I'm not even sure why. So I'm expecting some foolishness to come up because the lease is coming up. But I have another plan now because every time I look around, I just consider packing everything up. And the more I'm here, the more I realize that it's definitely time to go. And today, today put the icing on the cake. I do a lot of little silly videos, you know, just showing stuff like that and whatever. 
I enjoy going to the pool at nighttime. I, I let the children have it in the day. I enjoy going to the pool at night. I've even done videos and I've even done a podcast at night by the pool. It's cool. Now, I notice things is getting out of hand because just small little things just remind me of deja vu. It just, life, life rotates. So you'll see the same thing twice. So when, once it comes back around, you should be more familiar with what's going on. Like, okay, I didn't see this before. Like, don't keep making the same mistakes. Once you start realizing, like, mm, I see where we're going here. Don't just keep pushing forward to see if it's going to be different. No, 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 no. It's time to abort and start backing up or finding another way. So what I see coming on here is, so Mr. Curtis still moved on. They got him a new family over there. Some Spanish people. I just call them Spanish just like I called the Asian person Asian because I don't know where they're from. We can't really tell where they're from. You know, all you know is they speak Spanish. You can't just say they look like these people or those people. I don't know what they look like, but they speak Spanish. Now, remember, Mr. Curtis, there was like four people over there. It's, I don't know, it's at least six of them. And that's not my business. I'm not helping them pay their rent. So whatever the case is, like six of them over there. And they on the back patio. So there's noise on this side. Now, this is my little spot. You know, I'm used to the noise in the front. Now, y'all making noise in the back, y'all. It's definitely time to go. You already didn't heard the police siren through here like two times already. And I paused three times before I even got started recording because of the police siren. Now, that's on the right side, the, the one Spanish set of neighbor. We had this strange guy live on the right side of me. No, left side of me. Strange guy. He, uh... I don't know. He just looked strange. He was. He looked like he was. He looked like he didn't have a shower in his apartment. He looked smelly. And that's at a glance, he just like, hmm. And that's rude to say, but that's at that. Anyway. And I'm not sure who was. It was, it was some strange people living down my line, too, but. They don't live there anymore. Some of the bad kids used to come turn in my doorknob like I was at his house. He was in my house. He walked in on me a few times. I done told the mother, like, you know, now he almost got shot. You know, this this Florida don't turn my doorknob. I, I've been <laughs> Florida. Don't turn nobody doorknob. Just because the door is open does not mean that any, you no. Not in Florida. The, the, in the South, when they be like, oh, everybody leave their door open. They're so safe. They No, they leave the door open because they wish you would. Everybody wish you would. that They fully loaded and just waiting for anybody to try them. Please, please volunteer. So you could call the police and say, come get them. And they just come pick them up and take them with them. That's the law here. Anyway, um, so now... Along the line, there's some more Spanish people. So there's one on my right, and then there's one I went to check the mail. I know it's one down there, and I see them going down there. I saw some coming in, like, moving day. It was, like, a whole bunch of them. And I'm thinking, oh, that's cute. The whole family's helping them move in, and everybody had, like, a basket and something in their hand is oh that's cute didn't realize no all those people are there too so it's like six of them in there and i know it's only two bedrooms i know where the threes are at no that's no it's six of them over there i'm like hmm. i know downstairs on the first floor in the corner there's some cubans over there i know those are cubans i know and you know cubans those are cubans they mind their business they they crazy but they mind their business it's it's, it's 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 not it's not me throwing shade. It's facts. They, yeah. Anyway, um. Then I noticed downstairs on the other side, there's there's some more Spanish people. I know because that's the one always fixing his car. Like every day when I come out and I'm in the middle of my video walk, 
I always catch him. I'm like Spanish people. He's fixing the car. I got like five of these videos. He's always fixing his car. And I'd be wondering like, is that bad that he's always fixing his car or good that he's always fixing his car? And it triggers me to think maybe I need to open up my hood and start fixing my car. Instead of looking down on him, I'm starting to wonder, I should start fixing my car. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person. I'm, maybe I need to start fixing my car because the day cars last forever. I don't know. Maybe do they open up the hood and re screw all the nuts every day? I don't know. Check all the oil and like lick, lick the temperature because Spanish people cars last forever. I don't understand, but probably because he's fixing underneath the hood every day. Anywho, and I said, to, I said, baby, I believe it's going to start. It's like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm looking at the consensus. I said, I've seen this happen before, the consensus. When you see, because it's one, two, so it's one up beside us, two, three, that's on this line. Downstairs is one, two, three. I said, hmm, that's a lot of them on this side. I said, what happens is once they control the consensus, it becomes a monopoly. Once, once, once the Spanish people monopolize your complex, no disrespect to them. Shout out to all the Spanish people. Those people work hard. You know what I'm saying? They'd be willing to do what, what the next person ain't willing to do. And, you know, we black people, we... um. We'll just clock in. We we ain't even clocking. We walking in and we already done mapped out what we ain't doing. What time we going home at my job? They got a board that says leaving early. We ain't even clock in yet and we already plotting on leaving. We ain't doing nothing. Black people, we we probably figured we done work too much already. They ain't paid us the last couple times. We done got beat enough, so we ain't trying to do but so much. In my opinion, you know, call it what you want. Now, the Spanish people, they a little different and they had they they trying to get in where they fit in. So they're going to come and they're going to get that money. They're going to work sun up, sundown, whatever, 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 whatever culture, you know, in their countries, that's how they work. And they they know a little something about slavery, too. And in their opinion, at least they're getting paid now. So they looking forward. Um. Yeah, they work hard and they get their money and give them their shout outs and they blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, when they come home from work, they be ready to turn up and make a whole bunch of noise. And next thing you know, maybe ties, parties in the parking lot, all kind of stuff going on. Just the bunch of noise. And this was just a conversation I had about a week ago. About a week ago. Yep, a week ago. And today, all of a sudden, it was a full-pledged pool party in the middle of the day. I looked at the time like, wait a minute. I just heard a whole bunch of rowdiness outside. And I'm like, what the hell is that? I opened up the door. It was a whole bunch. I said, oh, no. It was like 10 of them down in the pool, jumping in the pool. They had like a speaker out, but they kept it low. The speaker wasn't loud. You barely hear the music, but you could hear them. Beers, chilling. I'm like, oh, no. And it starts. It has officially started. It has officially started. It's the takeover. The takeover. And it's right on time because my lease is going to be due for renewal soon. I got that Trump wild card to say I can leave anytime I want to. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't speak Spanish and y'all not about to be at. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. By the time the summer come, mm -mm, you're going to find out where they really from because each country going to have its own separate independence day. So. Everybody going to Cinco for the Mayo and Puerto Rico on that day and Ecuador. You're going to you're going to find out which country exactly they from because everybody's going to be lit for their country. 
you fourth of July don't matter. Coronas and and Modelos and Tecates all around. Heineken's as well. The good thing is, I mean, they good people. You always it's always gonna be food available, but no. No, no. I don't I don't want to. I I think I'm gonna get ready to exit and stage life. I've outgrown the place and I already see the takeover coming. My my the the current leasing situation is ridiculous. What this was today's date, the eleventh. I think what day did I pay the rent? On the ninth. My leasing office wasn't open on the first. It was open on the second. It wasn't open on the third. And it wasn't open all the way up until the night. There was several sticky notes on the door stating like, hey, we want to pay our rent. Where are you? It was like the leasing lady was missing. It was like a sixth trilogy. Like, it's, it's, it's just a bush that we go through here with this place. All kind of stuff. They'd be just like, I wouldn't say just anybody in, but the kids that come in here be doing all kind of crazy stuff. Riding bicycles on the second floor. There's like three people with a motorcycle in here. And the guy with the motorcycle, he full plays rides his motorcycle to his door. So you can hear the echo. It is crazy. And the place is a beautiful place, but the baloney, they go on here. And for the cheese, you got to pay to live here. It, you wouldn't even think so. You wouldn't even think the drama that you go through at this place at a glance. It is so pretty. I keep telling myself I need to film a movie here. Use 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 the uh the, the pretty and the feng shui of the place to my advantage. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do a short film or something. I don't know. And and, and when I saw my 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 Spanish people having a little party, you think I want to go complain? Mm -mm. I'm not complaining about the next person having a good time. I'm just looking like, oh yeah. I remember one time another neighbor threw a little pool party. It was lit. And I said, and, and that was a long time ago when the first couple managements was here, the first go go rounds. But with our new current management, oh I see, oh, I see the Spanish people could have a little uh little little, little party at the pool. Okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to keep quiet and watch because I'm going to have me a little party at the pool, too. Mm -hmm. Punchinella, I could do it, too. I'm not a hater. No, 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 no. I want to be in the party, too. Why would I complain? I want to come to the party, too. I know there's beans, rice, coronas, drinks, all that stuff. Hate ain't going to get you nowhere. I'm trying to join the party. Mm-hmm. Because I'm having me a party, too. I'm just watching to see, yeah? Y'all having parties, eh? Mm-hmm. I'm having me a party, too. <laughs> <laughs> Lay over a goodbye. Yeah. That's, that was me talking about my neighbors. Yep. At least I ain't talking about the neighbor I used to have. Because when I first tried to start my podcast, that lady lived downstairs. She had a son. He used to be humming. You at first you think it's the 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 you you in the house like what is that sound? I kept listening like I keep hearing this hum come up in my headphones. I'm, I'm damn near plugging out the fridge. I'm like what is that sound? I keep hearing this hum come up in my headphones, and I go to look down like wait a minute. The boy was special, to say the least, and he used to make this sound, and it wasn't unfamiliar. I worked at a developmental center. It wasn't an unfamiliar sound. I was like wait a minute. That is actually him. Oh, my. Oh, my. So I had to be strategic. It was like, give or take. I had to know what time he took his medicine. Or when she was home, he was quiet. Put it like that. Um, I had to be careful. So, I mean, the struggles of trying to be a podcaster. And the things that I probably could get, get accomplished if I didn't have such noisy, loud neighbors. And it's not their fault. They they just trying to live their life. So I'm gonna live my life in between, in between. Jump over the hurdle, do the best I can. I am Virgo Vine, and I'm just here talking about my neighbors. It's the Virgo Show. I appreciate y'all for pulling up. <laughs>